one of the things that people do today is they look at the app store and they find an app to help them with some of their habits. I think most of the research in the scientific community says that those apps really don't help that much. If you're not likely to examine your battle plans today, you're not going to be likely to enter them into an app so you can bring your app up on your phone and look at your battle plan that way. That's not going to help you. So the finding seems to be that these apps really don't help that much. Maybe they do while they're new and they're kind of fun, like my Fitbit. Okay, I have a Fitbit. I'm trying to get 10,000 steps a day in, and the reality is, for a while, that was great fun, and I was looking at it all the time, and it was helpful for a short period of time. But for long-term behavior, using an app is found to not be quite that helpful. Another example is there are some apps now that help you gather your expenses for your tax return. If you have trouble putting receipts in an envelope for this month, you're going to have trouble trying to use an app to do the same thing and, quote, help you with that instead of just doing what needs to be done. So the idea of finding an app tells me that you're searching for a better way, but what you really need to do is develop the habit in your life so you can do things routinely and then you'll have more free time to spend on your business or in your personal life. We can help you with this sort of thing if you just give us a call. Thanks.